the cottonwoods whispering above. Tammy, Tammy, Tammy's in love. Among the hundreds of performers that play Las Vegas, veteran entertainer Debbie Reynolds is unique. For one thing, she is performing five nights a week in her own hotel, which is also a shrine to a bygone era of movie making with its museum that houses part of the former film star's extensive collection of movie memorabilia. The audience comes to see Reynolds, and she makes sure they stay to see the museum. I've been saving all this stuff since 1970, and you know, I started buying because I couldn't stand it, that they were selling off our history. In the lobby, did you see those big chandeliers? in the lobby hanging there. Those are really old girls. Those are Baccarat Crystal, and they come from a great old movie called Marie Antoinette. They're really old. I save everything except husbands. The self-deprecating humor Reynolds uses on stage helps to soften the emotional blows of a very public marriage history. First to singer Eddie Fisher, then shoe magnate Harry Carl, and the recent oh, divorce from Richard Hamlet. It was reported that a judge right. awarded That's Reynolds nearly $9 million dollars in property, attorney on. fees, and money. The performer claimed Hamlet borrowed from her. I really didn't have a choice. My first marriage, my husband left. My second ha husband was a, a gamblerholic, lost all the money, and I left him. My third husband, it's a great disappointment and a sadness for me that this is over, but it's over. And I'm certainly not going to do another one. I'll just stay married to the hotel. But that marriage has its problems, too. The casino sign is still lit outside, but inside, movie memorabilia has replaced slot machines and blackjack tables, recently repossessed from the gambling lessee at the hotel. However, Reynolds remains optimistic. Well, we're supposed to get our license, probably take two or three more months, and I'll have my own license and can move our slot machines back in. So, uh, yes, I want it back, because then the revenue from the slot machines and all will buy some more memorabilia. <laughs> a lady loves expensive clothes and pretty jewels and furs. When and Debbie Reynolds sang about collecting clothes in 1953's I Love Melbourne, this is probably not what she had in mind. While well, most of her collection, including 3,000 costumes, is stored in a Los Angeles warehouse, some material is here in Las Vegas under the care of curator Randy Hendrickson. Very small percentage. Only one-tenth of the collection is here, including our armor, gowns, men's suits. In these areas, we have our posters, lobby cards. And this is all things that you will put on display here at the museum. At one time or another, they will rotate through our collection. This is one of Debbie's prized possessions. This is Barbara Streisand's Hello Dolly dress. Uh, the dress was designed by Irene Sheriff at a tune of $30,000 in 1956. It's hand beaded with Austrian crystal, gold bullion. And what else in the collection are Debbie Reynolds' favorites? Well, I haven't had more Marilyn Monroe costumes than anyone else. Uh, the, but I love the uh, subway dress of Marilyn's, the white subway dress, halter dress. That's probably what the fans like the best. And then the Wizard of Oz gingham dress and the Arabian ruby red slippers. And uh, I'm a Katharine Hepburn big uh, fan, so I have an awful lot of Katharine Hepburn things. And, and you do a wonderful Katharine Hepburn, too. Well, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Well, go ahead. We'll be ready in a minute. And also appreciated by Reynolds is her 38-year-old son, Todd Fisher, yeah. who is okay, chief executive of the it. Hotel this and Casino the, Company. The, the, the son of Eddie and brother of Kerry, Todd Fisher is seemingly yeah, dealing with an uncertain future. That's Business news reports allege the hotel lost over $4 million in both 1994 and 1995, and 200 creditors are at the front door. I put that. I asked him to come here and design the showroom and the museum. And I had other people to run the hotel. They didn't do a very good job of it. And so I asked my son to come now to help with the business side. And that uh, has proven for us very, very uh, difficult. And we're both just full of uh, exhaustion from the business side of it. Reynolds recently got away from the hotel pressures when she filmed the comedy Mother opposite Albert Brooks. Scheduled for release this fall, it's her first movie in 25 years. But her real enthusiasm is here, at the Debbie Reynolds Hotel and Museum, where the 64-year-old entertainer satisfies the happiness of performing and the passion of collecting Hollywood's past. For today, Jim Brown, NBC News, Las Vegas.